Hey guys, so here we're bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on stud shoot. Safe day spawning in the south we have Kuhn. Playing as Soviets and his loadout is Soviet combined arms. Recognize support. And urban defense. Teaming up with him is Yupikaye, also playing as Soviets, who has guard motor coordination. Armored assault. And shock rifle front line. No, we do have like a tier one start here, tier two the other way. So interesting uh, build here. For the allies. Let's go offensive in the north. We have Bohemond of An Antioch. <laughs> Probably butchering that. I guess I'll see it. And his loadout is German infantry. Mechanized assault. And Jaeger armor. And finally, we have Dark Regent playing as Ossia, who has German infantry, Jaeger armor, and Lightning War. In terms of rankings, uh, allies, this is the rank 10 allied ranged team, which is interesting because I don't think I've ever heard of either of these guys before. And uh, back the other way, randoms, uh, rank 20 and rank 10. MG into the center here. Okay, so, so in spite of going for a tier 2 start here, Kuhn going for a triple conscript, so no early maxim, which is a little bit strange. Makes me wonder why he would even bother building a tier 2 at this stage if he's not going to go for a early maxim. Like maybe he doesn't have to build it, you know, maybe he could still build two squads of conscripts, but pick like a third unit to be a maximum at least. Yuri skirmish is here. Come engineers getting suppressed, trying to crawl out. And MG here pushing across from the center to the far side cutoff. Also have a very, very early bunker down here for Dark Region covering this fuel. And yeah, bad start there for Yuppie Kaye. Looks like he does force the pies away there with the penals. Now they're coming across to the center. Machine gun repositioning. Conscript's also probing for a way past the machine guns here. Ooh, jump back to cover, but might still get suppressed. Yeah, and does. Now losing control of the munitions. Double Grenadier is coming through the center. Got one conscript squad here to defend, but outnumbered 2v1. Needs to move this Grenadier into the cover, though. There he goes. Conscript's trying to come around the corner. Machine gun gets a little bit of suppression on this one. There's a second one here. Grenadier's outnumbered now. They also need to get out of there. Conscript's slowly losing this one, but it's a slow loss. And it looks like a penal managing to sneak around the corner on the machine gun. Also, their retreat there. There you go, the Grenadiers. Machine gun repositioning to cover these conscripts. Nice repositioning here. And now uh, get some nice suppression on there. And the conscripts actually deciding to pull back. Just go for some safe capping. Now looking for the wipe on that Grenadier that got forced off. Hoping to get the kill, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But yeah, finally breaking through is Yupikaye. Yeah, interesting, go for a four penal start. Don't see that too often. Now closing distance, that must mean he's delaying his medics, right? Yeah. So probably going to be quite a lot of manpower bleed for Yupikaye, and probably also going to rely on PTRSs to deal with light vehicles. So it's again a lot of manpower bleed. We've already locked into Armored um, Assault. No guards, no uh, M42 light AT gun in this commander. Oh, Commander is closing in here, but the machine gun's back there. It's a press, looks like. I guess the conscripts can't see around that corner. Interesting. And uh, Bunker just never upgraded. Interesting.
we go down to a satchel if uh, doesn't get upgraded. Okay, so it looks like he did go for a Maxim as his fourth unit. Yeah, a little bit surprising. Odds are, you know, the combat engineers would end up retreating by the time you get to your fourth unit. So could have just built it then. Looks like Pyos went down for Dark Region. I did not notice that though. That's bad. Penal's out there. Doesn't have the munitions for the satchel quite yet. Might be able to uh, deal with that shortly. Rough grenade onto the maximum heavy damage. He is still forced away. Looks like he's going to go for the merge into that. Keep it on the battlefield. No AT grenades coming in for Kuhn. He does have an AT gun. And here it is. 222 in trouble. Oh boy. Trying to clear the arc. And gets around the corner but could still go down to small arms. Now backing out around the corner. Bit of a push on the conscripts. No smoke in this commander, so could still have trouble getting away. Small arms damage. Now the squad of conscripts on the rear armor and the combat engineers. Can the 222 make it out? It needs like two more bullets to penetrate it and it'll go down. But it looks like it's going to make it out of there. Very, very lucky there for Bohemond. But Kuhn did have the option of taking AT grenades. It looks like he did, but maybe start them a little bit later after seeing the 222 on the battlefield. When I checked, you know, when the 222 was already blasting over here, he still hadn't started them. Maybe a tiny bit late on the upgrade. Also got the uh, the AT grenade bulletin, but that doesn't work for regular AT grenades. That's for the AT grenade assault, the tank art tactics commander. A mistake from him there. Oh boy, swarming on top of the Zis. It's in trouble. They are all upgraded. The five man upgrade. And it looks like the Zis is going to get decrewed here. Conscript's doing their best trying to soften up these Grens, but looks like that is going to change hands. And those G43s uh, doing some good damage there. Foregoing the bunker with this strategy. Because green medkits are free with this upgrade. Once you are hit V1, so you can't delay your med bunker. I still think it's worthwhile getting for the team weapons for Pyos. And just so your units can just auto heal when they complete retreating. Missing your micro load a little bit. Set onto the retreating machine gun, but doesn't quite find its mark. But the Axis, despite you know stealing that Zis away, they have very, very poor map control right now. So they're in a bit of a tough position. And also interesting to see Dark Region did not get a light vehicle. Did tech tier two. Oh, he's going for a 222 now. Nine minute 222. You must be joking. But I guess maybe he was just a bit strapped for manpower, having to rebuild the Pyos. Building the bunker, which uh, never did anything. Uh, very uh, confusing build from him this game. Except the squad of combat engineers for Yippie Kaye. And uh, pack in production now for Dark Region. Fair decision. I feel like this 222 has spent an uh, incredible amount of time awaiting repairs. Oh, double AT guns now for Bohemond. I didn't notice he'd already booked a pack. But if we do see a light vehicle from Kuhn on his side, <laughs> the double AT gun should take care of it quite easily. Looks like he's not going to go for that though. Even though he has put down his tier 3 already. Really struggling though, Kuhn. Without uh, the machine gun for suppression, these five-man grenadiers just ripping through the conscripts. It looks like he's going to field some guards. Let's do perform pretty well. Oh. Okay. 
I need to be covered as I need up doing too much damage. Oh, T70. On the other side. Oh, PTRS connecting with the 222. What was that? What was that pathing? That was horrible. The dark region. Like backed it into the wall instead of like trying to turn around the corner there. That was really, really bad. It was bad getting the 222 in nine minutes. And then just to lose it immediately on top of that, that is horrible. And uh, it looks like a squad of conscripts went down over here. Five man greens getting the kill. I thought they were home free. Now, oh no, Kuhn is going for it. Uh, light vehicle. T70 coming in now very, very late though. See, he's already got an extra 90 fuel on top of that. So making that decision, uh, yeah, very late. I'd say ordinarily maybe he could could tech up here, which would give him access to the... the oh, I didn't even notice that second grenade coming through. That was heavy damage. T70 chasing away those squads. 2-2-2. Then two, two, two. comes the T70 to tame that. Yeah, he could have maybe teched up, but having lost the conscript just there, you know, not quite as many seven man upgrades available. Maybe it becomes more worthwhile to go for the T7 here, which also will perform pretty well against the 222, but you know, as I said, he does have to contend with those double AT guns, so it's a little bit risky. Another rifle grenade in. Reasonably well avoided. T70 come around the corner. Try to avoid these Fausts. Getting aggressive here, maybe hoping to do some damage. Packs coming up behind that. T grenade connecting, 222 on the run. Is this missing its shot? And now some attack ground attempts as well. Not connecting. Oh, that pack does connect though. G70 on run, and Dark Region picking up a second pack here. Maybe seeing the game situation at the moment, a bit of a bad. Map control for the Axis over the last like three minutes and it looks like it's going to continue so second AT gun decent option here given that what's going on here it looks very close to that mine not quite in the capture circle <laughs> there it goes But yeah, ordinarily, maybe, you know, maybe the Soviets could, like, double-team aside with the double T-70s, especially Kuhn having seen the double AT guns on that side of the map, could switch sides. And that might be quite strong, but in this particular scenario with Dark Region also picking up a second AT gun, maybe it's not going to be that effective. For him on, uh, floating a little bit too much manpower here as well. Looks like he's going straight up to tier 4 very long time before he gets a tank which is a little bit risky you know up against double t70s here I'm trying to go for such advanced tech could easily get overrun and speaking of yippee catching the packs a little bit out of position here chasing them away getting very very deep in there going for some cutoff action Finding a little corridor there to get aggressive. Away from those AT guns. Much damage onto the 222, but Pi is right there for the repairs. Packs coming around the corner. T7, you've got to be careful. Still healthy enough, can survive two shots. But only just. Now on the run, kiting from the Green Deer's. Got to make sure he doesn't take a Faust here. A little bit dangerous with the way he's backing. Back himself into a little bit of a corner. There's a little bit of a corridor here though. A lot of shots getting blocked. By all this heavy cover though, so doing almost no damage to the Grandies as they approach. Shot after shot connecting with those shot blockers. Like the Axis fighting back here though for Dark Regent. Oh, tries to go for a uh, cheeky satchel. Gonna catch these units as they come around the corner. Unsuccessful though. 
Oh, T70 over here got abandoned. I'm getting recruit. Ooh, heavy damage. Almost lost his combat engineers. And does have the heavy engine damage critical on that. So very, very slow backing up. Does have a vehicle crew repairs though on this commander. Might be worth activating it here. Oh, tri oh, triple snipers all of a sudden from Yippie Kaye. Did he really have like a thousand manpower floating there? A squad of infantry Let's go killed. down to that rifle nade. Rifle nade finally results in a wipe here. And Axis, uh, yeah, finally pushing back. Yes, vehicle pressure here from Kuhn being alleviated and uh, can't repair this. Trying to put down his tech. Yes, he's going to go for a Kachusha. Will be quite good against all the team weapons on his side of the map. And yeah, it doesn't have any heavy tanks or anything for him to be saving up for here, so... Might as well get his tech down, start getting some of those tanks out quickly. But yeah, it is very, very low on pressure. We've lost uh, two squads of conscripts and turning over his this. He's uh, low on units right now. We can't play up for Kuhn. Oh, double AT guns coming in from multiple angles. Could lose T70 here. And does. Doesn't get abandoned this time. MG bunker here from Bohemon, but it's a weird angle. Not really covering like you could come down the corner, around the corner here, and not get suppressed. Especially the guards with the PTRS could take down that bunker quite easily. Unusual decision. Speaking of the guards, they're doing pretty well here, but maybe uh, too heavily outnumbered. Oof, rifle nades. This could be the wipe. No dodge at all, almost. Retreat the last second. Luckily, he didn't drop any weapons there. Easily lost PTRS or an LMG. Some S mines up here now on the uh, fuel point. And we do have the Katusha. Maybe that's why he's trying to use the recon plane to spot four, but hasn't shot yet. And now uh, Bates the AT guns, but they all really pull back. Interesting. They all really start pulling back after the T70 poked his head full, which is a little bit strange. Given that T70 could just come forwards like this and continue the aggression, AT guns moving back in. T70 pulling out. The Bohemon floating like 1200 manpower here. That's just a tremendous amount. He does have a pretty decent, like, infantry base. Oh. Oh, T-70 gets the kill. Or maybe those are the guards. Now AT guns getting decrewed from the side. Double snipers coming across from Yippie Kaye. And the AT guns in trouble here. He's going to lose both of them. Oh, boy, that is disastrous, right? As I was saying, he's uh, got a decent army base. Lose it all, but here comes the 222. Trying to get the snipers. Sniper. One goes down. Frag bombs. Doesn't look like it does anything. And now we've got Button. Snare. So it looks like the second sniper is going to get out of there, but the 222 does not. Is this coming across? Finishes the job. And now double AT guns out there for the taking. I'm sure he wants one. Maybe his teammate can take the second. Oh no, MG gets the decoy on that one. We do have a Panzer IV now for Dark Region. Pyos, I'm not sure what they're up to. MG with the incendiary rounds activated. Got sniper sniping from the side. Let's suppress this. Not sure. P4 arrives, chases them away. We are 
and our allies could kill these you know he does have his this right there could go for the kill on them but he definitely wants to steal one if not both Uh, this is leaving them a little bit exposed. P4 through the center without the uh, Soul AT gun. It's actually doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for the kill on the Zis. Could contribute. T70 can also do a little bit of damage here. Might help. Yeah, it looks like the first option is going to be the Panther for Bohemond. Okay, interesting. There's a relatively safe choice against uh, double AT guns. Easier to keep it alive. I'm gonna go down in two volleys. But not super good against infantry. Nice two coming forwards here. Connecting. Hello, going down. Or is that more S mines? S mines. Weird. Good position for them. Penals come around the corner here. With the satchel. Oh. is in from the side. Did they get the sniper there? Looks like they did. Nicely done. Nice and on the panther to stop the T70 from going down there. Oh, AT got in a little bit of trouble, taking a lot of damage here from the Panzer IV frontally. Chusha. Going for the Grenadiers. Looks like the panther may be thinking about going in for a dive on it here. No mines around here. There's a little bit of a risk, but it looks like he's going to take it. She's already pulling back though. Right, Panther coming around the corner. Trying to go for the decor on the AT gun, but he doesn't have the machine gun upgrade on this yet, so it's not very damaging, but the bundle grenade actually gets the decro very uh well done there. Here comes the IS2 though to assist. Looks like the seconds is back at base reinforcing at the moment. But the Allies did get pushed very, very far back here. Using uh, quite a few squads between them. Those double snipers both going down a heavy manpower toll. yippee ki -yay. <laughs> T-70. That's a cheeky shot onto the Panther. And as you hear that, the Allies low on VPs now. Despite having, you know, what I felt was very, very strong map control in the early game. I'm struggling now, all of a sudden. Couple guards here. These two doing some uh, nice damage. This pushing up behind this on the Panther button. Pyro's going down there, I think that was. To the IS-2. Button. Panther in a bit of trouble. Packs coming across from Dark Region though. Nice support. The random team action here. And there is a Werfer for Pokemon. Oh, nice two. A bit of trouble getting around the flag. Makes a Faust and heavy, heavy damage. Panther a little bit too low to chase in here. It's coming both ways. Going after the Katusha, I mean the Katusha going after the packs. What if we're going after the machine gun? The Katusha, not really funny, it's Mark, Dark Region already pulling back with the packs. So, so far, Coons, Katusha are not going too well. Five kills, is that after three or four barrages? Bit of a slow start for it. I've been getting quite aggressive here. Going for the cap, trying to relieve that VP pressure. I was definitely feeling it. You see, we could also go for the uh, cap with recon mode on. That was a little bit risky. That amount of health. 
There we go. Sniper did get the neutralized, but now on the run. LMG Green is approaching. Ooh, they get a bit of a sprinkle on him. Oh, we're for now for dark region. The sniper region. Even with the guards, four kills there. Good start for that. Grindy's almost going down there. And man, Yippie Kaye just taking it from his Panzer IV. 17 kills on that already. Without a Zis, Yippie Kaye has just been bleeding like crazy whenever he doesn't have the IS-2 there to force it off. Regions tank just stacking up the kills. 34 here for Kuhn. Double AT guns screwing off on the Panther. Looks like he's going to lose one of them though out there on the road. The five man greens doing a lot of damage. Also activating the assault and hold. Good for coming in. Oh boy, engine damage. Was that his own mine? Been triggered by the Werfer there. And there we go. T 34 goes down. Before coming in from the side, as to go forward some meters. He's just diving on the VPs here. Got the machine gun capping on the far side. AT guns getting recruited, one and one. So finally, UPKA going to have an AT gun to help fend off this Panzer IV. Worth for coming forwards, maybe going for these guards. Ooh, a squad down. Had to expect that though. They're pretty bunched up in the uh, cover there as well. Barrage onto the double AT guns. Eyes 2 looking to get aggressive here. Oh boy, the S mines triggered. That's why I thought they were a bad idea. Almost took down his grenadiers. Let's take a long range shot off. MG getting decrewed here. And now AT guns in a little bit of trouble. The penal's coming through the center. Goes for the steal on the MG. Uh, not capping at the moment, but the clock is stalled. B4 in a trouble here. Can it take one more shot. No, this doesn't get it off. D crew pack up here though. Gonna get killed potentially. Let's do gonna finish the job on that. We've got the uh, engineers up here with the sweeping on the S mines as well. It just did cap over here though, so the drain back on the allies. Uh, neutralizing the center. Oh, he's gone hunting, but there's the elephant arriving at maybe just the right time. T3485 and IS2 on the charge. Oh, misses the killing blow on the P4, but the pack can decrew quickly. And now we've got the IL2 Sturmwick planes coming through. I'm very surprised the IS2 didn't continue to flank here. Duke Dive Bomb coming in on the IS2, I think. Has vacated the area now coming around the corner p4 getting rammed and down it goes to the ram but the eye is too sitting in front of the elephant for too long i think the elephant still needs two hits to kill it though so i should be able to get away here coming around the corner and uh the planes keeping his zis safe but yeah if he just flanked with that is too earlier on the elephant could have killed the elephant there but ends up getting away very very close call and maybe also you know if that p4 and bounce that shot didn't force a t34 in for the ram but, you know it's close call both sides that creature i feel getting a little bit lucky there Close range caddy, hoping to catch these P greens on retreat, and they do retreat into it. it looks like the Katusha had already cancelled, maybe worried about the Panther coming for us to snipe them there. So the P greens actually get away uh, scot free. 
Now AT gun out here decrewed. Going to crew it with the combat engineers. No, he doesn't want to lose them. And he's just got no infantry left anymore. He lost that other squad of guards at some point. They're coming through. Stupid dive bomb over here. Looks like there are a couple of penals lying down over there. <laughs> you see that coordinated wave from them? Oh man. Grandius, oh man, they just can't stick around there. Whoa, Sniper almost got the kill there. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it managed to get a shot off. So it's definitely the right choice, hitting the retreat instead of going for the cap there. But that does stall out the clock and uh, give the allies a little bit more time. At 57, also trying to stall out over here, but PTRS Penal is not terribly good against the Grins, throwing out a satchel, Hail Mary. Now in the ice too to get over here. Now the ice two could potentially get the wipe with another squad of penals into the retreat path. Now's the corner. Ooh, decent damage from the ice two breaking through the wall, but he's behind the building. Ice two really wants the wipe. Ooh, and he gets it. I think coming in from the side hits me. One could potentially use the target weak point here. Not connecting though. Again, ice two low. Even repairs. And Panther switching sides. Double AT guns through the center. We have a worth a read of fire. Yep, Dark Regions is. Oh, frag bombs on the double AT guns. No reaction from Yippie Kaye. He loses both of them. And there goes the IS 2. Allies just falling apart here. This is the rank 10 Ally team? That's, that's very surprising to me. They're having an off game. Because, yeah, I mean, their dodges on artillery and rocket artillery are basically non existent so far, which is. What I would not expect for a, a ranged team at this rank. You know, rocket artillery is such a big factor in these team games. If you're not good at dodging it, it's going to hurt your chances. He's stuck around there with the machine gun super low, and the Brumbeer just wipes it. Man, not the best play here from the Allies. But the clock is not ticking against them right now. Still have this T70. He's done a pretty good job keeping that alive. Smoke out this side, interesting, but T70 still getting some nice hits in, T34 there as well. Oh, a little bit too late jumping into the center with the combat engineers, and now they just get ripped apart by the Pegrins. Fit 2. Penals charging through the smoke here, forcing back the elephant through the sticky satchel. Boombe getting aggressive here. But uh, we've got the T34 going in for the flank elephant nearby. Oh, he's backed it right the way back. So I think the T-34 is going to be able to escape. Double AT guns pushing him behind this for Yuppie Kaye. Oh, and a sticky satchel did land on the Panther. Very, very low after that. But AT guns can't really afford to chase in. Oh, I was actually go down to the PTRSs there. Five man greens looking for the wipe on the penal. In comes the T-70 trying to save the day. Sniper there as well, but low go down quite quickly from that amount of health. The mortar actually connecting nicely across the way the greens. And now Katusha. Katusha one side worth for the other. He could lose. <laughs> he could lose the penals to his own teammates. Katusha, man, it looked like that was about to happen there. What's the friendly fire multiplier for the Katusha? I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's very high. The uh, spotting scopes on them there. So he certainly has to respect it. Sniper's still quite low here. Go for a shot like this, then retreat. It's quite risky. You know, LMG burst here could kill the sniper. Uh, 
Doesn't quite get in range for it though. Very close call. Uh, coming forwards. Okay, decent dodge this time from Kuhn, but it was a full retreat with those conscripts. And his uh, camouflage AT gun did get revealed by that. Also took a decent chunk of damage. About a third of its health gone. So there goes Sniper hitting Vet 3 very quickly, actually. Considering how uh, late he rebuilt it. Already got so many kills. Oh, Flakpans are looking for the kill on it. So close that last flak burst. Pack! Stolen pack with the target weak point. With the bombing run coming through, but a little bit too slow. Quite a lot too slow, in fact. Set you into the VP circle to force away those squads. Double AT guns coming forwards on the flacky. X2 shots. Uh, oh, clearing out the MG again. Took a dive bomb on the double AT guns, you pick yay. Late on the dodge. Oh, and he almost loses both of them again. But they are still alive. This one, though, is... Oh, man, he's put... He's playing very risky. <laughs> very risky style. Choose to try and clear out the MG on the far side and does. That's good news for the allies. They're still hanging on there, down to 56 VPs. Just uh, alleviating enough pressure. We've got a second worth for now. Bohemond, interesting. Yeah, allies are quite team weapon reliant. Both of them with uh, AT guns. Coon with quite a few machine guns. Now SU-85 coming for Kuhn, about time, and well overdue. I'm surprised that he went for another T-34 instead of the SU-85, losing that first one. Just to help deal with the Panther, you know, the SU-85 is such a weapon against the Panther. So he's about to lose the mortar here, very late to react. We have lost the mortar crew. Right, connecting with the Panther though, on the side. Maybe spotted by the T-70 with the recon mode. The Isn't not taking too much damage. Sniper here getting very aggressive, but uh, reveals itself. Spotting scopes the elephant will see it. It's a little bit risky. Flak Panzer doesn't come forward to meet it, however. Where for? First machine guns on the run. Scatter is uh, favourable for Kuhn. Doesn't end up taking almost any damage there. We're for coming forwards over here. Maybe going for the double AT guns again. Oh, they both survive at super low health. Lucky break for Yuppie Kaye. Oh my god, he's coming forwards with them at two men. A stiff breeze will decrew them at this stage. Extremely risky play. It could easily be just like some green deer coming in from the side. I suppose he's got the sniper out there spotting. But yeah, I feel like that was very risky, especially with three werfers on the field. Easily could be one ready to fire. Heck, they're coming forwards aggressively, but SU 85 getting some good shots in. Over on the run, but T 70 dishing out to these five man greens. He's 35 getting aggressive now. Sniper out the side. Refer, going for the sniper, I think. Sniper on the run, though. And dodges nicely. It's quite quick coming back in there. And it looks like he actually opens up on the 2 2 2 with the sniper. Instead of the green deers. Center very, very low. Oh, how did that survive? Very, very lucky. It's T70 still going to town. 
Chusha onto the machine gun over here again. Recruit at some stage. It looks like they might have been rebuilt actually. That's an MG42. I think it was a stolen Maxim last time we saw. Oh boy, we've got a big dive here from the 85s and they take out a Grenadier there on retreat. They were hoping to catch the elephant out of position. Elephant is rotating to deal with them. Sticky Satchel onto the Flak Panzer. But the double AT gun's a bit late coming up behind this. They were out. Or reinforcement. T34 taking some Panther damage, but the SU-85 is there now. Some nice damage. Allies are on the drain. But they are capping in the center. Double AT guns. Brumbe getting a big shot on there, but target weak point. In front of the double AT guns. Luckily that's this shot missing. Here come the Werfers. Ka losing the one in the capture circle. In fact, outright destroyed. Second one also taking a whirfing. Only minor damage. Kind of came forwards dodging. We've got the sniper flare out spotting here. Their T guns long range. S-35 doing some good damage. But what was the S-35 doing on the far side? Oh, took a dive bomb, hoping to catch the sniper or maybe the AT gun. Doesn't get them. Oh, but the sniper goes down. The LMGs just burst it away. just one LMG. I feel like that was a pretty good luck there. It seemed like almost every bullet connected on the sniper. On retreat. Yeah, well, I'm getting aggressive here. 85 having to pull back. Do you have the pack from the side? In fact, uh, your T-gun making use of the tracking here as well. You're going to trouble in the center. Katusha clearing out this machine gun. It does. Destroyed. T70 uh, going to come in with the secure action. Recon mode. Buy with secure mode. Is, Is he trying to kill the Katusha with the Panzer Werfer? Wow. Actually did some decent damage to it too. And double Werfers into the center it looks like. Off the machine gun. We have lost the machine gun crew. Got the decrow on it. The enemy still has it's 35. Points. Working nicely here, but not super well defended. A T gun uh, that was in the center there. Back at base currently, so he's sure if I has to be careful, could potentially get flanked by the Panther. He's only got one squad available for snares as well, so. He's right to play cautiously. T-3485 is just about back up and it looks like he's just going to spam T-3485. He's not fancying using the elephant. Yeah, ice 2 against the elephant. It's like a bunker busting barrage there, clearing the maxim. And the elephant getting a big long range shot on. T-3485, we have one out here waiting, just camping the VP at the moment. He does have a uh, crew appears, but looks like he wants to save the munitions for another off-map. Oh, worth a, wow, that was really good scatter getting the kill on the weapon as well. These worth is just stacking up the kills now for the Axis. we got, uh, what, 27 here. 5 here and 30 here. Compare that to the Katusha, which hasn't been used terribly well, I have to say. At 10. And, uh, T345 is looking for a flank on the elephant, but the spawning scopes are so strong for it here. It's a shot in. Oh, Panther diving in after the SU-85, but there's quite a few vehicles here to meet it. Needs one more shot to get the kill, though. He's on the move, and it connects. That'd be a good, a good bit of RNG there. Panther on the move, getting out of there. It happen, yo, if you don't have squads for snares, Panthers can be a uh, devastating get you. Okay, here we go. Big flank from the 85s. Do they have a pack back here waiting? Trying to get the kill on the elephant. Doing a pretty good block on the pathing for it here. We have a Panzer 4 here as well. T3485s, elephant turning the corner here. This could be about to go horribly wrong for Yippie Kai Yay. One goes down, two go down. Elephant still standing. P4 going down now. 
I think getting flanked again. Panther from his teammate. A little bit slow coming across to support. But he still has to get one more shot on the elephant here. Oh, and it penetrates on the front llama. That was very, very lucky. A long range Kachusha in here, but uh, not going to hit anything. He didn't get that frontal penetration on the elephant. Man, all who, that was his whole army. He's lost everything now. Just to kill the elephant. Kind of a... Oh. I'm not doing too much. Just a dive bomb come here. Whoa! T34 going down long range there to the Shreks. Surprised they managed to connect. Now the allies running on fumes. Look at this 41 and 15 versus 97 and 44. About to drain out. gonna throw in the towel well yeah uh, a little bit surprising here uh, the plays from the allies like what how did they get this rank i'm i'm sorry to say this I'm just checking in this is the yeah rank 10 ally team i don't know maybe they're having off night or something but this did not look like rank 10 play to me like the dodges on the artillery was just really bad like the off maps the worfers especially early on when there was just like one or two worfers and it was much easier to predict where they were firing that was just horrendous team weapon preservation just so reckless the allies and build orders man going for support weapon structure straight away very surprising uh then going for the maxim as your fourth unit when i think at that stage his combat just did always already retreat it's not guaranteed that they will but i don't know just questionable back the other way uh for the allies it almost went pear-shaped for bohemond when he lost both his at guns it uh, set the axis back a long way but dark region uh playing very well this game this Panzer IV through the middle doing a lot of damage with the PKA not having the AT gun for such a long time. And uh, pretty, you know, pretty decent teamwork as well from the Axis considering they were a random team. All right, up on that guys, if you'd like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.